Uh, we have a very um, interesting speaker this evening who I'll introduce in a bit. But uh, let me just open up in a word of prayer and then I'll go over through some uh, introductory material and get into uh, the talk. Father, we come to you, just thank you for this time that uh, we can share your word and that we can share the evidence that you have allowed us to see for the truth of your word. And we thank you for the ministry of uh, Marcus uh, Ross, and uh, we pray that you would just use him mightily to share what he has learned in his studies, Lord, that confirm your word. And we thank you for the opportunity to do that. We thank you for each person here, pray that each one would come away with learning something new and be able to share that with those that you put in their path. And we thank you in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So uh, again, just a few introductory uh, slides here. We have uh, Marcus, Dr. Marcus Ross. Um, he was a professor at uh, uh, Liberty University, one of the largest uh, Christian universities in the U.S. And uh, since then, he's started his own uh, business. But we, we have him speaking here five days. We've already brought him to two different uh, churches and one Christian school. And we have four more places to bring him Saturday and Sunday, which I'll go over. So next month, we have another speaker some of you may be familiar with, and that is Eric Hovind. He's the founder, president of Creation Today, and that's out of uh, uh, Florida, where his company is associated. So he's a very popular uh, speaker in the Creation community, and uh, so we have the privilege of having him here in the week, uh, the weekend, actually before Thanksgiving. So, and then, um, uh, starting the new year, we'll have Patrick uh, Mur uh, Nuri here. He's been here many times before, and he normally comes in uh, January, and we'll do that again uh, uh, next month as we start the new year. And then we have a number of speakers already uh, scheduled for 2025 from out of town, but I'll introduce them uh, you know, the next time. So, and there are other meetings, apologetics meetings, that you may find of interest. We set up another web page. Uh, called um, you know, More Upcoming Meetings. And if you click on that on the menu item, all about the meetings, click on that, and you'll see some of the other um, meetings of, that you might have an interest in that are local and apologetics uh, oriented. Um, these meetings, for those that are not familiar with the apologetics forum, we have them monthly, you know, once, a, once a month, the fourth Friday of the month. And so we, we bring in uh, local speakers um, for six of those times, and then four or five times we bring in speakers from out of town, which we put, you know, we bring to um, five or six different churches and two Christian schools. So uh, this is not a vacation for them. It's a speaking uh, engagement. And so all of our meetings are uh, live stream. This one is live stream, so you would see people online. And uh, they're also recorded for people that couldn't make this meeting. So you can go back and look at all the past meetings and all the past uh, YouTube uh, recordings that we have on our website. So you might want to take advantage of that uh, sometime. There actually is a lot of information on the apologeticsforum.org website that you may not be familiar with. We have a lot of evidence in different uh, disciplines of science, you know, examples of uh, evidence that prove confirm uh, God's word and uh, pointers to other organizations and uh, just a whole lot of material. Um, for people that are familiar with using their uh, um, uh, smart mobile apps on your smartphone, uh, there are six that I recommend that you download. They're from Creation Ministries and uh, Apologetics Ministries and uh, I won't go over them here but the uh, you'll if you go to the website, look under resources, click on mobile apps, and they're all listed there, and uh, you can download them directly from that uh, uh, website. Um, okay, so, and, and just a reminder that the way we support this ministry is through donations, on, either online or we have a donation box in the back for after the meeting as well. So next slide. Uh, I know you can't read it all there from the back, but uh, we've already been through you know, Wednesday and Thursday, so I won't go over them. They're, these are two churches that we normally speak at for every out-of-town speaker, you know, Calvary Chapel, Lake Stevens, 
and uh, Cornerstone Bible Study or Bible Church in uh, um, Lake Stevens as well. So this evening, this is our regular apologetics meeting uh, on Friday, and then tomorrow morning, uh, we are putting on a mini conference, and the topic is Adam and the origin of um, of humans. And um, if you're interested in that, it is in Snohomish. It's at uh, uh, Emmanuel Baptist Church in Snohomish. There's a flyer on the back table. So it describes what he's going to talk about, um, and it's called Adam and Human Origins. Um, Marcus will talk about that when he comes up to speak, So he, because he's recently writ written a, a book on that topic. And so you'll find that of, uh, of interest. And then tomorrow night, <clears throat> Uh, we're doing one of our youth nights out, and there's also a flyer on that. We've invited uh, the youth from all the local churches that are interested in apologetics, and are, I think we have about six or seven that are going to be sending their youth to this uh, youth night, and that will be held here in Atonement Free as well. It's 6 o'clock uh, Saturday night. So here, and of course, we have a pizza because it is the youth. Yeah. And then, and, but we do emphasize the Bible. So, but it is a great time for the, for the kids because they get to meet other kids that have same interest. And uh, the topic, it would be of interest to many. It's, it's called checking your worldview. What is your worldview? What do you believe? What is your filter for de determining what's true? So those things are coming up and then um, on, on Sunday, we'll be taking them to two other churches. One actually, is uh, Bellevue, Calvary Chapel, Bellevue, and then uh, Sunday night to Anacortes Summit uh, Park Bible Church. So we cover a lot of area, a lot of churches, but we can always uh, use more as well. So that's our mission, to help equip believers in the defense of the faith. So with that, I'm not going to jump into um, Marcus talk, but before we do, I was always like to show a little video clip, and this video clip is from uh, uh, icr.org, uh, and there's, they have a whole bunch of video clips that are you know, two minute long, and they focus on one topic. The one he's gonna, we're gonna show tonight is on Cambrian uh, explosion. So if we could... Uh, If evolution were true, the fossil record should show one type of animal life in the lowest layers, then two, then four, and so on. But Darwin himself had a difficult time explaining what we now call the Cambrian explosion of life. Cambrian rock layers contain nearly all the basic animal forms, including echinoderms, arthropods, and even chordates, with no trace of transitional fossils in lower pre-Cambrian rocks. And each fossil exhibits amazing complexity. For example, Cambrian arthropods had advanced compound eyes, like we see today in dragonflies and bees. The eyes were tuned to the way light travels through water, allowing the creature to see straight. This required each eye to have over 3,000 interconnected lenses. Compare that to only one lens in each human eye. Cambrian rocks also contain fossil fish that look like today's lancelids and hagfish. The fish had perfectly crafted skeletal supports inside their bodies, an opposite arrangement from Cambrian arthropods like trilobites. The Cambrian layers show an amazing amount of diversity and complexity. Evolutionists claim it happened in a mere 5 to 10 million years, the equivalent to a blink of an eye in so-called geologic time. Sudden appearance? Instant complexity? That doesn't sound much like evolution. Instead, the fossil record shows fully formed creature groups right from the start. Okay. Just another piece of evidence which shows that the uh, theory of evolution cannot work. And uh, there, of course, there are many more like that. But anyway, that's it for uh, uh, this evening. Um, I did... Uh, I do want to mention that you know, we do have a brochure for those people that are not familiar with what we do in apologetics forum. So there's one on the back table. And all the flyers for the meetings coming up, there are flyers on the back table as well. And if you uh, are not on our mailing list and want to be, there's a sign-up sheet on the back table. Just add your name and your emailing address, and you'll be informed of all the meetings that we have coming up. And the, the other one I want to show is the um, there's a 
DVD that uh, CMI put out, Creation Ministries International, is called Fallout. And it explains why our youth are falling away from the faith after they leave home and go to college. You know, why? Why does that happen? And this one is a very good explanation for that. So that's, I've got a few on the back table. Feel free to pick that up as well. So with that, let me 